Today is a really exciting day because I'm gonna show you the new object tracking feature within Final Cut Pro version 10.6. If you haven't updated to this newest version of Final Cut Pro, make sure you get on it and install this update because this object tracker is freaking cool. Apple released this update a few days ago and I got some time to play around with it. So I have some sample footage here in my Final Cut Pro project. Let's have a closer look. So we have a few video clips right here. This first shot is of this uh, boat in the ocean. And let's say we want to attach some text to it. We can easily do that just by going to our text editor or to our text generators right here. And I can literally just drag and drop this custom text over the boat and you can see Fonica Pro automatically detects the object. It's freaking cool. It uses AI. Fonica Pro uses AI. Can Adobe Premiere do that? All right, I'm not gonna get into that. I'm not gonna get into you uh, Adobe fans, but finally, I mean, Apple is known to make things just so simple and easy. But anyway, I just drag and dropped the text over the boat and it already made this graph, which is what is going to be tracked within this clip. So once that is selected, all we have to do is click on analyze. Watch how fast Fonica Pro analyzes this clip. It's, it's pretty shocking. It literally analyzes in real time, if not a lot faster. And right now I'm editing on a MacBook Pro from uh, 2016. I have my new MacBook Pro 2021 M1 Max coming soon, so we'll do a little update video when that's here. Now, if you notice, it tracked the full clip even though the text is a portion of the clip. So if you want, you can actually drag out the text throughout the whole entire clip and you don't have to reanalyze it. It will just, boom, track along with the boat. Now the boat's not really moving in any crazy direction, so you can't really see how the title is being tracked. So let's get into something a little bit more complex. So I'm gonna go ahead and erase this clip. And here we have a shot of a dune buggy. And you can see that this footage is a lot shakier. So let's see how Fonica Pro tracks this object. So I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna drag and drop the custom text. And again, it selects the object. It knows what I want to track immediately. I don't have to go through any parameters or any nonsense like that. So I really love how Fonica Pro just like knows exactly what to track. So again, we're just gonna click analyze. It's gonna analyze the whole clip. And I'm gonna show you how it's analyzing in real time. I'm not speeding up the footage or speeding up this clip. This is in real time. It's analyzing every movement, all right? And it wants to double check itself. So it's gonna reanalyze in the backwards motion. It's gonna reverse the clip and analyze it that way as well. All right, now we're gonna go over to the text. We're gonna stretch out that clip so it covers the whole entire uh, video clip. We're gonna go to the text parameters and I'm gonna change the color so that way we can easily see it. Actually, it's right here. I'm gonna go to uh, face and I'm just gonna make it, well, red should look pretty visible here, right? There it is, cool. Now let's play back the footage and see how well this got tracked. Look at that, isn't that dope? Now let's go on to something like this. This is also a handheld of this man walking. What we can also do is apply trackers to most of the effects. Unfortunately, we can't apply trackers to drawing custom masks. This is kind of like rotoscoping in After Effects. Hopefully they might release something like this in the future for Final Cut Pro or in Apple Motion. But for right now, I'm gonna go to, uh, let's say, Pixelate, and I'm gonna go ahead and drag and drop the effect over this man's face. And look at that. The object tracker can detect faces as well. So I'm just gonna drag and drop it over his face. Boom. And now we're just gonna track the whole clip. Again, this is real time. I'm not speeding up the footage. It does such a great job. There you go. It just follows and tracks his face, but you can see sometimes it goes in and out. That's the actual plugin, that's not the tracker. So what we're gonna do, we're actually gonna add a Gaussian effect because Gaussian pixelate is very distracting. I don't like pixelation that much. So Gaussian blur usually does a better job. So we're gonna go again, drag and drop it over his face. And then we're just gonna reanalyze the clip with that effect. 
easy peasy. It tracks forward and in reverse to get a much more accurate track. And if you notice, it actually tracks the rotation of his head as well. So now if we play back the footage, boom, you got yourself witness protection. Now let's say you don't want the tracker to add the rotation into the Gaussian blur effect. You can always turn that off. We actually have some options right up here. We have shape and the tracker. This is really important because we can actually adjust the shape without adjusting the tracker. All you would have to do is just unlink the tracker from the shape. That way you can actually adjust the shape and then the surface area of the actual tracker won't change. It will stay the same. If we leave this linked, you'll notice that if I change the shape of the actual mask or the Gaussian blur, it will also change the surface area of the tracker. So just make sure you have that option there. If you want to adjust the rotation or just get rid of it completely from the track, make sure that this button is deselected. You don't want it to be linked. Then you want to go to the Gaussian blur effect, go to the tracker properties, which is located right here. It's this little new box that Final Cut Pro incorporated. Go to the drop down arrow and deselect rotation. You can also select other options and deselect other options such as scale and position. Okay, there's one last thing I want to show you and that is how to add your own manual track to a clip. Instead of dragging and dropping an effect or a title, all we would have to do is just click on the actual clip, scroll down to the bottom of the parameters, and then go to trackers. Hit the plus button and now we can actually draw out our own track. Boom. See that? And you can also change the shape, making the corners more round by using this slider or a little circle right here. So for a face, we're gonna make it more round. And now we have a large surface area to work with and we can analyze and track this clip. Look how well it does with the rotation as well. Wow. Final Cut Pro really knows how to object track not only in 2D space, but in 3D space as well. Okay, and one last thing before I go, don't forget that you can actually incorporate this object tracker into color correction. So if you wanna highlight a person's face, you can easily do so. I'll make a separate tutorial on that because this is just the tip of the iceberg on what this object tracker can do. And by the way, I'm also gonna compare the object tracker from Final Cut Pro to other object trackers such as Motion VFX. Stay tuned for that video because that's coming up soon. So if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe with those notifications turned on and I'll see you in another video. And uh, for you Adobe Premiere Pro users, it's not late for you to switch. Time to use Final Cut Pro.